I see us having four groups. Number one is you can be a part of a group that's ongoing. It doesn't have an expiration date. You love being together. You can be together until Jesus returns as far as I care. As long as there's life in the group. Second, you can have a group that has perhaps maybe an expiration date. Or say we're going to do a topic at a time and then we'll decide if we want to continue. That would be a second type of group. One, just we're together. We love each other. We're going for it. Second one is we're going to take a step at a time. And we're going to go for six weeks and then evaluate in six weeks and evaluate in six weeks. A third group can be what you call a talk it over group. That is a group that says we want to take the messages that are preached on Sunday and take them deeper into our lives. Because whoever preaches on Sunday has something that God speaks to us and we, we, could, we, could, we could take that outline given on Sundays. Some people don't provide outlines, but God still speaks. I don't know how God can speak and not have an outline, but some people up here claim that God can speak and not have an outline, but that's just me. Anyhow, you can have a talk it over group. And then the fourth kind of group would be an intensive discipleship group, much like Rick was talking about there, just uh, really d discipling uh, one another in a way. So four different types of groups. You can think about that and to say maybe you want to be a part of those, continue the group, stand up together, we're going to pray.